A small earthquake swarm on the southeast flank of Mauna Loa Volcano on Hawaii Island prompted a statement from officials on Thursday. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says Mauna Loa Volcano is not erupting. The scientists said the ongoing earthquakes do not show any signs of magmatic involvement and are part of normal readjustments of the volcano due to changing stresses within it. Rates of deformation and seismicity at the summit remain slightly elevated and above long-term background levels. The observatory also said there is no indication of increased volcanic hazard at this time. Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano on Earth. It is currently at an advisory alert level. Scientists say this alert level does not mean that an eruption is imminent, or that progression to an eruption from the current level of unrest is certain. During the past week before the swarm began, scientists say their seismometers recorded approximately 250 small magnitude earthquakes below Mauna Loa. 163 earthquakes were below the summit and upper elevation flanks of the volcano. The majority of the earthquakes were less than magnitude 2.5 and occurred at shallow depths of less than 4 miles below ground level. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says these patterns of seismicity are typical of the past several weeks. Measurements continue to show slow, long-term summit inflation, consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. The slight increase in the rate of inflation at the summit that began in January continues. At 1 a.m. on March 18th, a small swarm of shallow earthquakes began on the southeast flank. HVO recorded over 40 earthquakes beneath this seismic zone, about 13 miles west-northwest of Volcano Village. The earthquake cluster was about one mile wide and less than four miles below the surface. The largest event in the sequence as of Thursday evening was a magnitude 3.5 earthquake. The bulk of the events have been less than magnitude 2 and not widely reported by residents. HVO says clustering of shallow earthquakes in this region does not mean an eruption is imminent. Scientists have recorded shallow earthquakes in this area for many decades across several eruptive cycles at both Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Other monitoring data streams for Kilauea and Mauna Loa show no signs of increased activity. As has been reported, Kilauea is currently erupting, and all activity remains confined to the summit caldera. In last week's Volcano Watch article, scientists encourage residents living near Mauna Loa to prepare personal eruption plans during this time of quiet. From that article is this map, modified from a HVO fact sheet. It indicates the response time people can expect based on the travel times of Mauna Loa eruptions over the past 200 years. Different sectors around the volcano are colored according to how quickly lava flows can reach populated areas. Scientists say lava traversing the northeast portion of the volcano travels at a modest clip. The Hilo area is shown in blue. Mauna Loa flows in the past reached Hilo in weeks to months due to the greater distances to populated areas and gentle slopes in the uplands that slow down flow advance. The southeast flank of Mauna Loa with its steep to moderate slopes is in yellow. HVO says lava flows in this region travel at a moderate clip and can reach populated areas in days to weeks. In 1880, a lava flow traversed 16 miles in seven days. Mauna Loa's northwest flank is in orange. Scientists say flows from this region can also reach populated areas in days to weeks. In the past, radial vents in this region have issued lava from below sea level to the summit of the volcano. This region is orange because if a radial vent eruption starts low on the flanks, precious little time may be available for response efforts. The west side of Mauna Loa's southwest rift zone is in red. Flows here can reach populated areas in just hours because of the steep slopes and vigorous lava production. Many flows from this rift zone have entered the ocean in less than a day. HVO says the most important thing residents can do to prepare for an eruption is to have a personal response plan, especially if you live in or near the southwest rift zone. Pack bags containing essential items in case you have to leave your house under an evacuation order. You may want to include important documents like your birth certificate, deeds, legal papers, and medications. Exactly when the next eruption will occur is unknown. Current earthquake counts are lower than has been observed before the start of past eruptions. Scientists expect to see seismic activity become more persistent and continuous before a new eruption begins, perhaps in the order of hundreds to thousands of earthquakes each day.